some farmers right now, in especially eastern Ontario where we're from, are losing profit because their farms are, I should say, high energy costs. So what should the government do to cope and help the, the uh, Ontario farmers cope with that loss of profit? Well, energy costs uh, get built into the farm economy in many ways. And uh, the reality is energy costs are likely to go even higher. What we believe needs to be done is uh, to implement a risk management strategy uh, which uh, ensures that uh, farmers' costs of production are at least covered. Uh, that's very much the case in Quebec. Uh, they have a risk management strategy. And uh, Alberta has uh, gone some of the way down that road as well. Um, we, we right now force farmers to, to carry too many risks. Farmers have to carry the risk of uh, huge energy costs. Farmers have to carry the risk of uh, currency changes. Farmers have to carry the risk, uh, used to be called weather risk, now I think it's climate risk. And farmers can't carry all of that risk themselves. And we as society, if we want to continue to see people uh, working on the farm, have to be prepared to assume some of that risk. Uh, and that's especially the case, I think, now as we see energy costs likely to escalate even higher. Should there be, I don't want to say a tax cut, but there should be a tax break for farmers who sort of produce their own energy and sell it back onto the grid? Well, uh, I think we want to be careful about that because uh, not all farmers are going to be able to produce energy. I think the, the better way to deal with this is the way that Quebec has done it. Uh, Quebec looks at the average costs of production of farmers in various kinds of farm activities and then ensures that they receive uh, from the provincial government uh, a, uh, a, a monthly payment that helps farmers meet some of those risks and some of those costs of production. And then, then I think farmers can go on with farming as efficiently as they can and as cost effectively as they can. But asking farmers to meet and carry all of these risks is just not sustainable. And that's why I think across the country we see so many farmers in trouble. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks.